Hey, it's the analytics dude back here again talking about how data-minded folks can get better at PowerPoint. Now, appropriately showing the right data is one of the most important things to an effective PowerPoint. The native graphs tool is capable of producing good graphs, but if you're lying the default settings, your graphs are probably going to suck. Here's a list of some of the most important things you should look for and think about when making a graph in PowerPoint. Up first is descriptive slide titles. Descriptive slide titles are important on both slides and on the graphs. Now, you can get away without using them on graphs if they're repetitive to your main slide title. However, you can also use them to reinforce your main point. Just remember, no more than one main point per slide. Next up is choosing the best way to display your information. For instance, if you're comparing things, put them next to each other, on the same axis. Don't make somebody work to compare things by looking across the slide. Make it easy for them and put them next to each other. If it helps, add an arrow. Third, use relevant colors to your advantage. We'll see what that means in our example later. Fourth, label your axes and your data. I personally prefer top labels for data. I think they're easier to internalize. Fifth, grid lines come standard, but 99% of the time, you should get rid of them. And finally, if you're using bars, outline them. It makes it much easier to read. Sometimes presentations will print out small or someone might be far away in the room or on a go to meeting or WebEx, the video window might be small. You wanna make it as obvious as possible for the person you're trying to convince. Let's take a look at a real life example. I had the idea as an example for this to compare the revenues of Home Depot and Lowe's. I Googled it and found this graph on statista.com. It's not as bad as some I've seen, but there's a lot we can do to improve it. Let's go over that now. A descriptive title would help. In fairness to Statista, I believe they're just a research tool and not supposed to deliver conclusions, like with a descriptive title. If I were titling this, I might go with something like, Home Depot revenues outgrew lows in 2018, despite already being much larger. That, of course, depends on the reason for the slide. Next up, why are they stacked on top of each other? This is probably the biggest error with this graph. This is supposed to be comparing them, not addressing the total home improvement market size. Let's move them to a clustered pair and see how much better that looks. Next up, I think we can do a great deal with color. I thought of Home Depot and Lowe's as examples because they're known for their distinctive colors. See how much more recognizable this one is? You don't even need a legend that says which is which, though you should still include it. You never know when it's being shown to someone who has never heard of either of these companies. The axes are already labeled, though the bottom label is both extraneous and not the label for the x-axis, which could be confusing in other circumstances. I'm moving the data labels to the top and changing the x-axis label to years. And finally, we'll get rid of the grid lines and outline the bars. See what a difference all those changes made? It's almost like they're not even the same data. I mean, which one of those do you think is easy to understand? Or which one would you like to see come across your desk if someone was trying to tell you something? Let me know if there's something you thought I should have done differently, or something that I could perhaps add to these rules on how to make better graphs. They're designed to be basic, of course. Till next time, I'm the Analytics Dude. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.